Hello there, and uh, welcome back to another Scratch tutorial. I am Lena, I'm here with Ape Tech Tutorials. Today we're going to be looking more into the pen extension. We're going to dive a little deeper into it, and we're going to be writing the word hey on our Scratch uh, canvas. So stick around if you guys want to learn how to do that. And uh, don't forget to like us, subscribe, and comment on our videos. So let's get started with our demo. Here's our little demo. So as you can see, our character goes ahead and writes the, le the letter H and the letter I. The difficulty level of this ex uh, exercise, it's uh, you need somewhat experience on um, how to manipulate the pen and for that look at our previous video uh, and then the estimated time is about 20 minutes the skills you will be learning is the pen extension the motion blocks and the control blocks and then we'll be doing this in uh, four steps so first thing we're gonna go ahead and add the pen extension then we're gonna add the pen blocks that allow us to put the pen on paper or on the canvas and then we're going to go ahead and write the letter H and then we're going to write the letter I. Step number one, go ahead and add the pen extension. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and add the pen extension. If you click here on the bottom left corner of Scratch, the extension will pop out and just select the pen one. Step number two, add the initial pen uh, blocks that allow for our pen to be put on the canvas. And here is where we're going to start our code. Now let's go ahead and start our project by adding the initial blocks that we need for our pen. We're going to start with a flag and I'll explain it right now. And then I want my bow to start kind of right here. And uh, I changed my sprite. It's uh, very simple to do for you guys. And I showed that in other videos, but I just changed my sprite because I wanted something smaller. You can always resize the cat if you want. Um, let's go ahead and grab, I want it to start right here when we start our program. And I want it to point in direction 90. And then turn 90 degrees. And then we want it to erase all. So we want it to erase all so that when we start freshly, it doesn't have anything on the screen. And I want my pen size to be 3. And then we want to put the pen down. So what this does here is the initial setup of your pen. It's going to go ahead and say, for example, if the bow is over here, it's going to set the initial X and Y to this location for that bow. It's going to point it in the 90 degree angle, which is like this. And then it's going to turn it to to uh, 90 degrees and then we're going to erase everything on that canvas make the thickness of the pen 3 and then put the pen down so it's basically like when you're writing you're putting the pen down on the paper just like that and as you can see it turned the bowl so that's 90 degrees that and that is done by this turn 90 degree block here step number three add the letter H and these are the blocks that we use to make a letter H on our canvas. Now we're going to head and write the letter H. So for that, we're going to need some repeating blocks. Here we go. We're going to start by drawing the, the horizontal line of the letter H. And we're going to change this to 20. And we're going to move 10 steps. And that will write that horizontal line. Now we're going to move and point to direction zero. And this basically just kind of turns the bow around, but it's going to still be facing the same way. It's just turning the point of your pen of where it's painting and going the opposite direction. Now we're going to go ahead and do a repeat block on that. And what I want to do here is I want to go halfway up on that line. And then I want to turn. I want to point, not turn. 
point and in the 90 degree area. Okay, now look at this. And that's going to set me up to write that top part of the H. Now we're going to move 80. And we're going to point in direction 180. So that's going to write the top portion of the H and then get it ready to go down again. And then the final step for the H is to go ahead and do another repeat, repeat block that would allow us to do the bottom portion of the other half of the H. And we did we do a repeat 10 times and we move it 10 steps. And there you go. Step number four, write the letter I. And these are the steps we use for writing the letter I. So now I'm going to scroll up because this is really, really big program. I just need space on the bottom. And what we're going to do is we're going to move our bow or your sprite, whatever sprite you chose, we're going to move it over here to add that space in between the letters. So what we need to do is we're going to have to pick up our pen. So kind of when you're writing, you always pick up your pen so you don't keep scribbling on the paper to continue writing, unless you're writing cursive, obviously. But this is the same idea. You have to pick up your pen. We're going to point in the direction of 90. We're going to move 80 steps just to add that gap between the letters. And then we're going to point in zero direction. So there's the H and then there's the space that we need it. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and start writing our I. So we're going to go ahead and put the pen down again on our canvas. We're going to do a repeat block. We're going to go ahead and move 10 steps. And this is going to create the bottom portion of your I. What I just added. Here you go. Now I want to add the little circle on top of the I, but I want to be able to give it the space between the long uh, bottom of the eye and the circle. So we're going to add the space now. So we're going to go ahead and pick up our pen. And then we're going to go ahead and point in direction negative 90. We're going to move 15 steps. And what this is just allowing is to, for us to do that little gap that we need between the between the bottom of the eye and the top of the eye. Point in zero direction and then we're going to move 25 steps. And that will give us a little gap. And as you see, so it went, it went go ahead and did uh, turn into a negative. 90 degree and you kind of can't see it because of this sprite but it's actually rotating the bow if, if, if I had like a cat or a bird or something with a different shape area on the front and the back you could see that changing let's see and I can show you that in a little bit so then we're gonna move 15 steps so it's gonna move 15 steps and then it's gonna rotate Rotate in zero and then move another 25, which allows it to stay right here. And this is where we're going to start our circle. And now what we need to do is to go ahead and put our pen down. And for those of you who are curious on the circle, we did some shapes on our previous tutorial. And that kind of got you your feet wet so you can kind of figure out how to do shapes. So we're going to do the circle here. And move 30. And this varies depending on the size of your characters, your uh, actual letters. So however big you want to make them or however small you want to make them. It's five and we're going to be turning 20. So these, these here numbers can vary, change, however you guys want to change them, depending on how big you want to make that circle on the top. So we're going to go ahead and make that circle now. There goes the H, the I, and the circle. And now, 
A little thing that I wanted to add, I didn't want to keep the bowl there or the character, the sprite, so I wanted to move it over here. So I just add a uh, pen up. And then I am going to move the location of it. So let's say I want it to stay, come like right here. If you move it, it'll give you the coordinates of where you, instead of you having to manually type them, it'll give them to you here. And you can just drag that block and use that as your coordinates. There we go. So that's going to move the pen up and then put this guy here where it is, but it will turn him in 90 degrees. So go ahead and look at these. And look at that. Okay, now if you want to do another sprite, kind of to show you the whole direction thing, how it turns, let me go ahead and find another one. But let's go ahead and add another sprite so you guys can kind of see that direction. Uh, maybe I can do an arrow. Yes, let's do the arrow. So let's go ahead and copy this code to there. And the way you do it is you actually Grab the code, oops, not that, the whole code, let's go ahead and go on top. grab the whole code and just drop it into the arrow or whatever you guys chose. And let's go ahead and make sure it's in there I'm going to delete this guy so you guys can kind of see. And we're going to start from the beginning, arrow go down, go down, dip, dip, see? And the arrow allows you to kind of see where it's pointing at. So if you guys kind of want to play with that, you can go ahead and do that. There we go. So that way you guys can understand it. All right, guys, I thought that was a little bit fun. I'll show you guys how to write on actual Scratch. Go ahead and create your own creations, uh, your own messages. You can create messages for your friends. That when they click on the flag, you'll tell them something. Uh, in this uh, tutorial, uh, you guys learn how to use that and the amazing pen extension that we have here so thank you so much for joining me and uh don't forget to subscribe and like us and uh leave your comments below if you guys have questions concerns comments or you want to share your projects with me and uh we'll see you in the next one bye